Let's start with the first exercise, a plane change. I'm going to use the flat face of the hammer. And you see the orientation I have here. The uh, metal is in alignment with the hammer. I tried to, to either do this or at a right angle. It uh, keeps the variables down to a minimum. If you start getting into odd angles like that, you, you have to do some, some mental calibration to compensate for that. So with the, with the copper bar pointing straight at me, I deliver solid blows. I'll flip it over. And you'll notice I'm hitting more blows near the end and fewer and slightly softer blows as I move up the length of the rod. And I'm going about two-thirds of the way up, maybe even uh, three-fourths of the way up. Now I'm going to reverse it and turn it 90 degrees. So before I was hitting this way, now I'm going to go this way. And again, lining it up. Flip it over, work on the other side. And there we go. This needs a little filing. But you see what's happening here is we have a plane that becomes an edge, except by the time it's an edge, it's turned into another plane, and then back and forth. So we get this, this appealing exotic form. Let me file and sand this. And after it's cleaned up, that's what it looks like. Again, we have a plane that turns into an edge, which turns into a plane, which turns back into an edge. This is a very basic form. We're going to be seeing a lot of this. Let me show you just quickly the range that you can get from this. For instance, these two pieces at first glance seem quite different, but in fact, it's the same thing. Plane turns into an edge, into a plane back into an edge. We can make this more compact, I can stretch it out, and we'll see this again.